This is a demo and review of Blastable. Now, if you are looking for a simple to use email autoresponder, this might be the tool for you. But before you make a purchase, I do want to bring up a few points that you should be aware of. So let's get started. Okay, if you are anything like me, I love finding and using marketing tools to help grow my business. So I created this a Notion spreadsheet of the top marketing tools I love, and many of these tools are on AppSumo as well. Now, if you want free access to this Notion spreadsheet, just click the link in my description. And I do update this spreadsheet regularly, so you definitely want to bookmark this and refer to it at a later date. So let's get started with our Blastable review and demo. So this is the dashboard. You can view a high-level overview of your email marketing performance. You can see your subscriber growth on a daily basis, the engagement, and also see the performance of your recently sent email blasts. Now you can create a handful of things with Blastable. You can create a one-off email blast. You can create an email autoresponder, create lists, templates, sign up forms and also create segments which allow you to send emails to a specific group of people in your list so to create an email blast it's basically a three-step process you first need to add your blast name you can choose the list that you want to send this email blast to and also segments if you've created them and then click on next and this is where you design your email blast. You can choose your sender profile, your subject line, and also add preview text here right as well. There's also tokens, which are basically merge tags or variables. So if someone fills out a form with their first name, you can copy the first name tag or any tag that you are collecting and paste that token in your email content. So the person's information will automatically get populated right inside the email. So using this drag and drop editor is pretty simple, but in terms of the various elements that you can add to the email, I would say there is a lot of room for improvement. So yes, you can add, you know, your logo. Um, you can just drag the logo element right here. You can also add various things like buttons. So you can just drag and drop the button. But when it comes to editing and designing the elements, there isn't much there. So for example, this button, you can click on edit link and you can add your link here, change the button text and change the border type to radius or rounded and also change the button alignment as well. But that's basically it. I couldn't find a way to change the color or the height of the button or maybe add additional padding. So the drag and drop email builder is a little clunky, but they do have the HTML editor where you can basically design your email however you want. So if you know HTML, you can design a very nice looking email. But the drag and drop builder, I think, can be improved quite a bit. And you can also edit the text. Now, editing the text is pretty simple. So you just highlight the text and you can bold it. You can change uh, the font of the text, change the text type, add links, and so forth. So once you are done designing the email, you'll click on send to go to the last part. So you can choose your date and time of when you want to send your one-off email blast. Or you can also send the blast now. And one cool feature they do have is the perfect timing feature, which basically will send your emails at the time your contacts are most likely to open them. So I sent an email blast earlier and this is how the email blast looks like. So personally, I like to send very simple, just text-based emails. So I created one with Blastable and you'll notice the Powered by Blastable branding. So one thing to keep in mind is that all emails that get sent with Blastable will have this branding at the very bottom and there is no way to remove it. I actually spoke to support and they confirmed that there is no way to remove the Blastable branding. Next are autoresponders. So creating an autoresponder is very simple. It's a three-step process. So you first need to name your autoresponder campaign and choose your list and click on create now. 
Then click on Add Autoresponder Messages. You'll have to add the message name and the trigger event and send after, you know, a certain number of days or hours, then click on Next. And here is where you design your autoresponder message. But one helpful thing they do have is their AI copywriter. So you can actually use their AI to help you um, brainstorm or write your email campaign. So just give it a prompt and click on Let's Go. And here we go. So we have a fully written email according to the prompt that I gave it. And you can insert it into the email or copy to the clipboard and basically just add it inside your content. And the last part is where you can decide when your autoresponder gets uh, sent. So let me actually show you how an autoresponder looks like. Now I designed an email for one of my autoresponders earlier. Now I want to show you how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so you can see the various images here, the logo at the top, the top, some text, and the call to action button with some quotes and a headline and another call to action button. So again, I couldn't find a way to really tweak and design the look and the style of these elements. So the emails will look um, pretty simple, pretty bare bones, unless you know HTML, where you can really tweak it exactly how you want. Now, with the autoresponder emails, as well as the email blasts, again, you will have this powered by Blastable um, branding at the bottom. You can also create email lists as well, so you can decide who gets certain types of emails. And there are email templates that you can create yourself and save it as a template. Now, again, they do not have pre-designed email templates. You need to create them yourself and the signup forms. So they do have pre-designed signup forms, which is nice. So these are all of the signup forms and you can edit the text. You can move things around and you can also delete certain elements and add elements as well. So right now there are only these five elements you can add to the signup form. So in terms of the options that you have available, it is pretty limited, but you can tweak the elements like change the font, change the text uh, decoration, the font size, and also the border type and the colors. But as you could see, it is pretty simple. There are no really too many advanced features that can really help you create a nice, stunning um, sign up form. It's again, gonna be very, very simple. And then lastly, you can create uh, segments. So let me show you one of my segments here. Now I think segments are really powerful because you can set up criteria. So you can create a segment of people who did not open in the last one days, or you can set up certain other criteria as well, like did not click, last click, last opened, and so forth. So segments are a powerful way to send specific targeted emails to a certain group in your list. And there's also settings, so you, so you can create your sender profile, and they do have an API as well. So you can create an API key to connect it to any third party software. Now, if you are interested in Blastable, you can get the lifetime deal on AppSumo starting at $59 and you can get up to license tier six for 1000. Now let's take a look at uh, the deal terms and details. So, if you purchase tier one or two, you are tied to all future plus updates. And if you purchase tier three or above, you are tied to all future pro plan updates. So if you go with tier one, you will get 20,000 emails per month or 50,000 emails if you get tier two. And if you get tier three, you'll get 100,000 emails per month and you will unlock these four additional uh, features of the tool. Now, one thing to note about the limits. So it says emails per month. So when I initially read that, I thought I could only send 20,000 emails per month. But if you go to my account on the bottom left-hand side, it says unique subscribers, 20,000. So from my understanding, it's, the number of subscribers you have. 
So that's one thing to keep in mind. You may want to contact um, AppSumo to make sure it's subscribers and not emails per month or vice versa. So to get the most value of this tool, I think you should get a license tier three because it does unlock these additional features. And if you wanna be very serious with email marketing, I think you should be setting up advanced segments, marketing auto automations, and also setting up custom timed autoresponders as well. So I think tier three is the sweet spot here. Now I did take a look at the pricing page on their website and this tool actually is um, pretty expensive. So for the plus plan for up to 10,000 subscribers, it's a hundred bucks per month and you get unlimited email sending. Now with the AppSumo plan, you get 20,000 emails per month. So again, you will need to contact them and confirm if it's email sends per month or if it's subscribers. So that's one thing to note. Um, but with this limit, it's only $59 a lifetime versus, you know, 100 um, bucks a month, which is the most affordable monthly payment. So the AppSumo plan definitely will make this tool much more affordable and it is a lifetime. So I think if you do not have an email autoresponder tool yet, Blastable could be a great tool that has very the essential features. If you just want to send off very simple text-based emails very quickly and easily, I think Blastable is a great tool. But if you are looking for something more advanced, like maybe creating more pretty looking emails, maybe adding some e-commerce functionality, or maybe adding more advanced autoresponder elements like A-B testing or delays after a certain time. Blastable might not be the best tool for you, but if you are looking for something very, very simple, um, easy to use, you just wanna send out emails to just a handful of subscribers, um, Blastable is a tool that you should be um, looking into. Now, again, if you want my top marketing tools, Notion spreadsheet, click the link in my description for free access. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up for me if you did. Also subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna check out my other software reviews, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.